Hello, and welcome to another creating session with El Comalito Collective. My name is Edgar Arturo, and I will be your instructor today. Hola, y bienvenidos, bienvenidas, bienvenidex a otra sesión de crear con El Comalito Collective. Mi nombre es Edgar Arturo, y yo voy a ser su instructor el día de hoy. Um, did you catch that I said another creating session and not an, a painting session? And that is because we are going to be creating these beautiful tissue paper flowers today. And I'm going to be sharing a little bit about the history of how these flowers came to Mexico. Um, el día, no sé si notaron que el día de hoy no dije que vamos a pintar con el Comalito Collective, pero vamos a crear con el Comalito Collective porque vamos a crear estas flores de papel. Um, y también voy a darles poquita historia de cómo estas flores llegaron a México. So if you could just give me a minute or so while I set up the technology um, and we wait for folks to log on and I will be right back. Denme un minuto por favor mientras preparo la tecnología y los materiales y ahorita regreso con ustedes. All right, muy bien. Listos para crear? Are y'all ready to join today? Um, hello, Tina um, and Laura and Natalie and Ramon. We are really excited. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go over the materials real quick. Um, and I'll do that in English and first and then in Spanish. Bienvenidos a todos, bienvenidas, bienvenidex. Estoy muy emocionado por la clase de hoy. Um, voy a primero dar los materiales, enseñarle los materiales en inglés. Y ahorita regreso y se los enseño en español. Um, so what we're going to be needing today is tissue paper, um, a wide range of colors. Really, you're going to get to choose whatever colors you would like. We're going to need a pair of scissors. If you are working with young people today or if young people um, are on um, the class today, please, please, please be careful. Um, we're also going to be utilizing pipe cleaners, which are these little wired um, um, string thingies. Um, but if you don't have these, it's totally okay. You can use yarn instead. Um, and that's really all that we'll need. So, los materiales que vamos a necesitar el día de hoy es papel de seda, uh, colores uh, diferentes. Uh, déjales enseño como yo los tengo preparados aquí con todos los colores. Um, también vamos a necesitar uh, estos, uh, no sé cómo se llaman en español, pero son como alambres. Si no lo tienen, no se preocupen. Uh, pueden utilizar hilo eh, en vez de, 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 del alambre. Ok. Y. Tijeras. Si están trabajando con jóvenes o si hay jóvenes que nos están acompañando el día de hoy, por favor tengan cuidado con sus tijeras. Ok. So that, those are the materials that we will be using. And we're going to be showing you how to, how to make four different tissue paper flowers today. Ok. Um, y les vamos a enseñar a hacer cuatro diferentes flores de papel. Are y'all ready to get started? I am ready to get started. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, Again, uh, actually, before we get started, um, know that uh, if you have questions, if you need me to repeat a step, if you need me to do anything uh, or to show you something again, you can let me know in the comments. I'm pretty good about checking the comments. Um, si tienen preguntas, quieren que repita un paso o cualquier cosa, um, me pueden hacer saber en los comentarios um, y yo leo los comentarios y les puedo... Um, Les puedo contestar via los comentarios. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Juan Rios. Um, thank you all so much for joining. Um, so now let's go ahead and get started. Ahora sí podemos comenzar. All right. So um, when you, um, when I opened up my packet of tissue paper, let's start, I'm going to start with the blue one. When I opened up my, my packet of tissue paper, it came kind of big. It came like this. Um, so if you have yours that are this big, then let's go ahead and cut that in half. Yo cuando abrí mi, mi, oops, mi papel de seda, estaban grandes así. Entonces lo que yo voy a hacer es voy a cortar esto en mitad. I'm gonna cut this in half. Oops. 
So I folded it in half. Yo lo doblé en mitad para saber dónde está la mitad. And I'm just going to cut this in half. Y voy a cortar el papel por mitad. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it in half again. Y después voy a cortarlo por en mitad una vez más. Um, para hacer cuartos. So the long way is here. Uh, lo estoy deteniendo uh, este largo así. Lo voy a cortar en mitad. All right. So after we've cut it in half twice and then, uh, or in half once and then in half again, so a total of two times, we will have sheets that look like this. If you purchase sheets that are smaller than mine or that are bigger than mine, that's totally okay. You can use uh, a smaller size sheet and it should still make a rectangle like this, or if they were bigger, then it should make a, a rectangle that is bigger than this, okay? Si ustedes tienen papel que estaba más grande que el mío o más pequeño que el mío, no importa, pueden utilizar ese mismo papel con que su, sus cuadros queden en, en forma, más bien, sus rectángulos queden en, en rectángulo, okay? So they're going to be like this. And I'm going to go ahead and take one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Vamos a obtener seis pedazos de papel, six pieces of paper, of sheets of paper, and then we're going to put the rest to the side. Y después vamos a poner el resto a un lado porque no los vamos a necesitar ahorita, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that they're all lined up. Vamos a asegurarnos que todos estén del mismo tamaño y alineados. If they're slightly off, that's totally okay. Pero si nada más están um, un poquito, un, está una, una, un, una hoja de papel un poquito más grande, no importa. That's totally okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to hold our, paper, our sheets of paper so that they are the tall ways. Vamos a detener nuestro papel um, que esté alto, en forma alta. Y vamos a doblarla en forma de acordeón. We're going to fold it in accordion style. So I'm going to show you just in case you don't know, but we're going to make about one inch fold. So I'm going to fold it just like this, all, the, all of the sheets, one inch. Vamos a doblarla en acordeón. Primero la doble una vez y está aproximadamente del tamaño de una pulgada en, en la parte donde está doblada. And then we're just going to fold it the opposite way. Y después lo vamos a voltear del de lado opuesto. So it's going to create like a V. Y va a crear como una forma V right here. See? Do you see that? Just like that. And then we're just going to continue this process back and forth. Vamos a continuar este proceso otra vez y otra vez y otra vez y otra vez and one more time until we run out of paper y una vez más hasta que ya no tengamos más papel and then it's going to create just this long thin sheet y después va a crear esta forma larga un rectángulo muy largo and they call it accordion style because it looks like a little accordion y le dicen um, uh, doblada de acordeón porque se mira como un acordeón so just like that pretty simple right muy, uh, muy fácil verdad um, so now that we have this fold here what we're going to do is we are going to take a pipe cleaner again if you don't have a pipe cleaner you can use string instead vamos a, a, ahorita utilizar oh yeah I can do it again so Veronica uh, I'll do it again so this is my sheet of paper so I folded it once here, and then I folded it in the opposite direction. I know it's kind of hard to see on camera here. The opposite direction, and then the opposite direction, and then the opposite direction. So it just keeps going back and forth. So you flip the paper, you fold it, you flip the paper, you fold it, flip the paper, fold it. So it's gonna go in the opposite way, okay? So if you unfold it, it, it'll create a lot of like letter M's. So it should go up, down, up, down, and a little zigzag. 
And I'll just give it a minute for folks to catch up. Les voy a dar un segundo para que no se alcancen, pero cuando terminen, debería de ir para arriba, para abajo, para arriba, para abajo, cada marca de donde se dobló. All right. Hi, Rochelle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, thank you, Elsa, for the suggestion. Yeah, just like if you were making a fan. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a pipe cleaner. We're actually, we're going to fold this in half. Vamos a doblar esto en mitad. Just like this, so that we know where the center mark. Para saber dónde está la, el centro. And we're going to place our pipe cleaner just so that you can barely see the top. So, uh, vamos a, do, a poner nuestro alambre aquí en medio. Y nada más queremos que se vea un poquito la parte de arriba. We're going to fold this back. Vamos a doblar la parte de abajo hacia la parte de arriba. Y vamos a... Conectar las dos partes y darles vuelta. We're just going to twist both of them together. So now it's secured on a pipe cleaner, okay? Y ahora ya está asegurado en nuestro alambre, just like this. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be very careful. We're going to take our scissors. Vamos ahorita con mucho cuidado tomar nuestras tijeras y vamos a hacer un corte del lado hacia el centro y del otro lado hacia el centro para que quede en pico, okay? So it's going to be one diagonal line from the edge to the center of the top. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Very carefully, oops. So that it is a pointed at the top, okay? Para que quede en punta hacia la parte de arriba, just like this. And then we're going to flip our flower and we are going to do the same thing to the other side. También vamos a hacerle lo mismo al otro lado. We're going to be very careful here with our scissors. Vamos a tener mucho cuidado aquí con nuestras tijeras. Just like this, okay? So if you fan this outward, now you have all of these beautiful pointed... I'll show you this way. You'll have these beautiful pointed ends, okay? So we're going to start with just one side. And this is where you're going to be very careful. Ahorita, ahorita vamos a empezar solamente con un lado, pero van a tener mucho cuidado para que no rompan por accidente su papel. Um, so we're just going to be very careful so that you don't tear the paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to fa fan this outward. And we're going to be very careful about pulling the top sheet out and in towards the center. Okay? Vamos a tener mucho cuidado, pero vamos a... Retirar la primera hoja de, de encima y la vamos a traer aquí hacia el centro. Just like that. Okay? And again, we just want to be very careful that we are not, um, that we are not uh, tearing the paper. Con mucho cuidado para no uh, romper el papel. And then we're going to do the same thing to the second sheet. Y vamos a hacer lo mismo con la segunda hoja. Just like this. I see. And then we're going to do the same thing with the third sheet. Y ahora vamos a hacer lo mismo con la tercera hoja. And we're going to repeat this until we are done with this side. Vamos a repetir este paso hasta que lleguemos a la última hoja. Okay. Great. 
And then last but not least is this last sheet. Y ahora la última hoja. Just like that. And then when you're finished, it should look something like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the other side. Okay, ahora vamos a hacer el otro lado. So just like we did on the first side, we're going to fan this out. And we're going to pick up the top sheet. And we're going to be very careful about not tearing it. But we're going to be pulling that top sheet towards the center. Okay? Ahora vamos a hacer el otro lado. Y vamos a retirar la primera hoja, la hoja de encima. Y la vamos a traer hacia el centro de nuestra flor. Just like that. And we're going to continue this process. Vamos a continuar este proceso. Siguiendo con la segunda hoja. Y después la tercera hoja. And then the third sheet. Until you get to the last sheet. Hasta que terminen con todas las hojas. Just like this. Okay. And then when you're finished, you will have a flower that looks just like this. Y cuando ya hayan terminado, van a tener una flor que se mira así. Beautiful, right? Y después pueden encontrar el centro y pueden ajustar las hojas. Como ustedes gusten. You can find the center afterwards and then just make adjustments to the positions of your leaves here, your beautiful blue leaves, until you are happy with the way that your flower looks. And I like to use the pipe cleaners um, because they're really just easy to, to fold and adjust. You can connect them anywhere. Um, so that's kind of why I like to use the pipe cleaners versus the, 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 the string, but you can use them however, you can use whichever um, you prefer. Um, ok, ya completamos nuestra primera flor. A mí me gusta, utilizar, me, me gusta utilizar el alambre porque se puede doblar y las flores se pueden colgar uh, o se pueden poner donde ustedes gusten. Entonces por eso yo prefiero este alambre, pero igual pueden amarrar la flor y utilizar el hilo. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to pick another flower. Vamos a elegir otro, perdón. Vamos a elegir otro color. We're going to pick another color. And we're going to cut that in the same way. Okay? So in half and then in half again. Vamos a cortar el papel en mitad y después en mitad otra vez. Igual que las primer, igual que, que cuando hicimos la primera flor. Just like we did for the first flower. I chose red. Yo elegí el color rojo, pero ustedes pueden elegir el color que ustedes gusten. But you can choose whatever color you would like, okay? So once you've cut your paper in half, and then in half again, it'll look like this, just like we did last time, okay? Cuando corten su, su, um, su papel en mitad y después en mitad otra vez, se va a mirar así, igual como la última vez. Pero... Esta vez lo vamos a cortar una vez más. But instead of cutting it in half twice, we're going to cut it in half three times. Okay? So then, you are going to have sheets of paper that look even smaller. They're going to look just like this. Okay? Pero como lo cortamos en mitad tres veces, van a tener rectángulos que se ven un poquito más pequeños y se van a mirar así. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and take six sheets of paper again. Y vamos, um, how many layers of paper? Six. We're going to take six sheets of paper. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
and six. And I'm using six sheets of paper because I like my flowers to look a little bit fuller. But if you want to explore, you can explore with less amount of paper or you can explore with more amount of paper. A mí me gusta que mis flores se, ven, se vean muy llenas y por eso yo utilizo seis hojas de papel. Pero ustedes pueden... Oh, yeah, I can totally slow down. So sorry. Um, pero ustedes también pueden utilizar uh, menos hojas o más hojas. Um, Rosa, I'm so sorry that I'm going a little bit fast. Yeah, I'm so happy to slow down. I'm, I'm totally um, happy to slow down. Um, can you let me know where in the process you are so I can kind of gauge the timing? Um, this is my first time facilitating this class virtually too. So um, I'm also learning. This is also new for me. Uh, navigating this virtual world. Esa también es mi primera vez uh, navegando esta clase virtualmente. Típicamente hago las clases en persona. So también es una... Uh, estoy aprendiendo yo también a uh, uh, navegar este mundo virtual. Great. So what we're going to do is now that you have your six sheets of paper, we are going to hold our paper the tall ways, okay? Ahora que ya tenemos nuestras seis hojas de papel, vamos a, a detener nuestro papel en, la, en esta forma donde está el papel alto y no largo, okay? So I'm just going to give folks a minute to grab their six sheets of paper in whatever color they would like. Voy a darles un minuto para que um, lleguen a esta parte con el color de, de, de flores que ustedes gusten. Igual yo elegí el color rojo. And we're going to fold it in the same accordion style, okay? Vamos a doblarlo. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, vamos a doblarlo. And, and that's actually really um, important for me to know, too, that there are folks who are left-handed. So if I can adjust the facilitation, let me know. I'm happy to do so. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in the same accordion style. So from the top, we're going to fold. And we're just going to fold about a half an inch, okay? Como media pulgada, because this flower is smaller. And then we're going to fold backwards. Y después al revés. And then we're going to continue this process going back and forth, back and forth. Accordion style or fam style um, until we're finished, okay? Vamos a seguir doblando en, en a lados opuestos en forma acordeón, igual que la primera flor, hasta que ya no tengamos papel, until we, we reach the end and there's no more paper for us to fold. All right, and then we'll be here. Y después vamos a llegar aquí. So we'll just give it a, a minute. And now that we are here, last time we cut our piece of paper in a pointed, where it was pointed at the end. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. La última vez que hicimos la flor, cortamos las, las, um, uh, la orilla en, en punta. Esta vez la vamos a hacer redonda. This time we're going to be cutting it and we're going to be making it round. So let me see if I can move close to the camera here. And I'm just going to cut this in a circular motion. Oops. Being very careful, con mucho cuidado, con nuestras tijeras que no nos cortemos. Great. And now this side is round. Ahora esta parte es redonda. Oops, maybe not so round, now that I turned it around a little bit. Okay, much better. Mucho mejor. Redonda. Y ahora voy a hacer lo mismo con el otro lado. And now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing with this other side. Making sure that I'm cutting it in a round circular motion in forma circular. Great. And now I have both of my sides that are round. Y ahora tengo las dos partes que son redondas. And just like before, igual que la última vez, voy a tomar un alambre. I'm going to take a piece of, or uh, yeah, a uh, uh, <laughs> what are these called? Uh, 
<laughs> I just drew a blank on what these are called, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. Um, and we're gonna fold this in half. Vamos a doblar este en medio para saber dónde poner nuestro alambre. And it's just gonna stick a tiny bit from the top. Y nada más queremos que se vea poquito de la parte de arriba. We're gonna fold this upward. Y vamos a doblar la parte de abajo hacia arriba. Y les vamos a dar vuelta. And we're just gonna twist these. To secure our center. Para asegurar el centro. And now we have our flower here. Y ahora tenemos nuestra flor. Just like this. With circle, with uh, circular uh, ends. Con las partes de los lados circulares. And we're going to go ahead and start the same process as we did with the last flower. Y vamos a empezar el mismo proceso que tuvimos la última vez. Entonces es... Vamos a hacer las partes hacia afuera y vamos a empezar a doblar la hoja de arriba hacia el centro. We're going to fan this out and we're going to be very carefully pulling the top sheet inward towards the center. And we're going to move on to the second sheet y después vamos a hacer la segunda hoja. And we're going to continue to do this until we reach the last. We're going to continue to do this until we, we reach the last um, sheet of paper. Y vamos a continuar este proceso muy cuidado, con, con mucho cuidado para no romper nuestras hojas hasta que hayamos terminado la última hoja. And then I wanted to also share a little bit of history about tissue... Uh, of, of tissue flowers, tissue paper flowers, and how they um, came to Mexico. Does anybody know, um, does anybody know what this paper is called in Spanish? If you do, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. Um, I know that it's probably tricky today to, to comment because we're using our hands uh, a lot, but if anyone finishes early and they, they want to, to uh, put that in the comments, um, it's now called, it's now taken on a different name. It's called uh, Papel de Seda. Um, and we're going to move on to the next side once we've finished. Y después de que hayamos terminado con este lado, vamos a seguir con el otro lado. Um, but for a long time, it was widely known as Papel de China, uh, which is paper from China. Uh, and the reason why it was known from as that is because in the early 1500s, um, Mexico started trading with China, um, and because the paper came from China, it was known as papel de China. So, in los últimos, por mucho tiempo, thank you, Moises, yeah, papel de China, in, in Mexico y en, en hispanohablantes, en, en, en países hispan, hispanohablantes este papel se conoce como el papel de China y la razón es porque en los 1500 en los años 1500 uh, empezamos, México empezó a, a, a cambiar comercio con China y este papel vino de China entonces uh, se conocía como papel de China so it started to become known as um, paper from China and it was some of the more, more accessible paper, uh, meaning it was uh, cheaper. Um, and it was it became very traditional for um, churches to use uh, tissue paper flowers uh, inside of the churches um, because it was cheaper than purchasing uh, or than, than accessing um, real flowers and they didn't have to be replaced as often. So, se acostumbró uh, que las iglesias uh, católicas específicamente empezaron a utilizar las flores de papel um, en las iglesias porque uh, no las tenían que cambiar uh, igual de frecuentemente que las flores naturales y eran mucho más baratas. Um, but, because we didn't have electricity until the 1800s, pero porque no teníamos electricidad hasta los 1800s, um, se estaba acostumbrando a utilizar mucho las velas. Um, and be, uh, because of the electricity thing, uh, it was very customary to use 
um, candles and fire as a form of lighting. So the churches started to burn down. Uh, y se empezaron a quemar las iglesias. Uh, y después de eso, las iglesias uh, ya no querían um, que las flores de papel uh, sean usadas en todas las iglesias o en los altares. Um, y, y, y las pararon de, de utilizar. So the churches banned them from, from or tissue paper flowers, uh, from them being able to be used on uh, altars as well as um, within the church. And they were banned. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so, so they were banned from the churches. But because it was the most accessible paper, that's what artesanos, um, artisans, uh, were using to create their altares um, in Dia de los Muertos celebrations and in um, crafting um, and, and different art forms. Um, so it continued to be very customary for, the, for, for artisans and artists to use them um, outside of the church. So, por, pero porque era tan barato el papel, los artesanos continuaron a utilizar estas flores para llenar los altares fuera de las iglesias, para Día de Muertos y para el arte. Y uh, se hicieron un, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Se hicieron uh, parte de nuestra historia mexicana. So, that's kind of the, the history of, of tissue paper um, and how it came to, to México. Limpia pipas in Spanish. So pipe cleaners uh, are limpia pipas. Thank you. Um, so yes, a little bit of history. Ahora ya saben un poquito sobre la historia de um, sobre la historia de flores de papel en México. So now you know a little bit of the history of tissue paper flowers in México. And now that you have learned to make two different tissue paper flowers, we're going to move to something a little bit more challenging. Are you ready? Uh, ahora que ya hicimos dos flores, vamos a aprender a hacer una flor diferente. Y esta está un poquito más difícil, pero sé que pueden ustedes hacerla. I'm sure you all can do it. You ready? Let's do it. Okay? So, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I say let's go ahead and do it. Um, let's go ahead and take two sheets. We're going to go ahead and cut our large sheet of green. Vamos a obtener. This, this is going to be very color specific. If you have green, let's go ahead and take the green and cut it in half and then cut it in half one more time. Okay? Si tienen el color de seda, de papel de seda verde, Vamos a cortarlo en mitad y después en mitad una vez más para tener los rectángulos grandes. So that we can have the larger size rectangles, just like this. Igual que la primera flor, just like the first flower that we made that's now up here. Let me hang my second flower. Voy a colgar mi flor, mi segunda flor. Nancy, what is my uh, favorite flower and color? Um, so I like the larger flowers. This is the floor. This is the flower that we're about to make. So esta es la flor que ahorita vamos a hacer. And actually, I really like this color combination. Y me encanta este color, esta combinación de colores. Um, and for this one, I use the green, the purple, and the yellow. Okay. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take two sheets only. Dos hojas, perdón, tres hojas, three sheets of this green here. And we're gonna lay those down. And then we're gonna put this green to the side. So now I'm gonna have you pick one more color. Um, and here, it's gonna be the color purple. So you'll, it's, or on this flower, it's this color purple here. You can pick whatever color you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick, let's see. I'm gonna pick I'm going to pick a teal color. And I already have it cut because this is the color that I cut earlier. Yo ya lo tengo cortado porque es el color que hicimos um, para esta flor. But for this one, you're going to need five sheets, six sheets of paper. Two, three, four, five, six. So, so far, Para este color van a necesitar seis hojas de papel. So we have two green. We have six. I chose blue, but you can choose whatever color you would like. 
And then we're gonna need just one yellow, okay? Y vamos a necesitar nada más un amarillo. Just one yellow. So again, it's in half and then in half again. Y es en mitad y después en mitad otra vez. Careful not to cut, cut the sheets that you've already cut. Cuidado no cortar las hojas que ya separamos. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. It's just the wind. My dogs got scared because of the wind. Okay. So now we have two sheets of green. Ahora tenemos dos hojas verdes. I'm sorry, tres hojas verdes, three sheets of green. We have six sheets of blue, seis azules, o el color que ustedes eligieron, or whatever color you chose. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one yellow. Y un color amarillo. And we're just going to lay all of those one on top of another, making sure that they all align. Vamos a poner una encima de la otra, asegurándonos que todas tengan aproximadamente, aproximadamente, sean todas del, aproximadamente el mismo tamaño, approximately the same size. And we are going to hold it the tall ways, just like this. Vamos a detenerlo del lado alto, así. And I'm just going to give it a moment or so for folks to catch up. Y les voy a dar un minutito para que me alcancen. So we'll, um, yeah, so it's three green, some blue, and then yellow. And Silka, thank you so much. I'm, I'm happy to do it. I love, love to facilitate, um, but it's also a learning curve for me since we're all navigating kind of this new world. Um, but so any feedback is appreciated. I appreciate it. And yeah, no, thank you. Thank you everyone. Oh, um, yeah, today's a really beautiful day. I just, I'm feeling really good today. Hoy me siento muy bien. Um, I know that last time I was having a little bit of anxiety and that was um, that was a little hard for me to facilitate last week for whatever reason. Um, and today I'm just feeling really great and very thankful and I'm just excited. So thank you all for joining me today. Muchas gracias por acompañarme el día de hoy. Hoy me siento muy bien y estoy emocionado por estar aquí. Um, so yeah, I'm just super excited. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do the same fold. Vamos a seguir con el mismo, uh, doblando, doblando el mismo de la misma forma, en forma de acordeón. So it's a fold. And this is about a one inch fold. Aproximadamente es, vamos a doblarla en, en secciones de una pulgada. And we're just going to keep going back and forth. Back and forth. Al revés. Doblar. Al revés. Doblar. Al, de, al revés. Doblar. Al revés, doblar, y una vez más, al revés, y doblar, just like this. Okay, and then I want, um, what I'm going to ask for folks is to make sure that you press really hard for this one, because we want these fold marks to be very prominent, okay? And esta... Si pueden doblarlo muy fuerte porque quiero que las líneas de donde se dobló sean muy visibles después. Y ahorita les voy a enseñar por qué. Okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to fold this piece out here with the yellow on the top. Con el color amarillo hacia arriba. 
Vamos a desdoblarlo. And see how you can see my folds very clearly. Ven como mis, mis, las marcas donde se dobló mi papel están muy visibles. Eso es lo que queremos. Porque lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a sacar el amarillo. What we're going to do is we're going to take this yellow and we're going to fold it. And we're going to take it out. We're going to fold it and we're going to fold it in half. Okay? Vamos a quitar el, el papel amarillo con mucho cuidado y lo vamos a doblar en mitad. So now I have the center on the bottom. Okay? Tengo el centro hacia abajo. And what we're going to do is I'm going to find my scissors here. Lo que voy a hacer es voy a partir aproximadamente dos pulgadas. I'm going to cut about two inches from the top. Boop, just like that. And I still have my fold in the center. Okay? Corté como dos pulgadas de la, par de la parte de arriba. Y el centro está hacia abajo. So I'll give folks a minute to, to do that. Les voy a dar un segundo para que me alcancen. Y ahora lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a con la parte del centro todavía está abajo so the center part the center fold is still towards the bottom I'm just going to make small cuts voy a hacer cortadas pequeñas very careful con mucho cuidado para que no se corten por favor be very careful so that you don't cut yourself And then I'm going to unfold it, and it's going to have fringe at the end here. Okay? Y se va a mirar así. And then I'm just going to set this aside for now. Okay? Y ahorita lo que voy a hacer es nada más voy a poner esto al lado. Y voy a regresar a la parte verde con azul. And then I'm going to come back to do the blue and the green here. And I'm going to find the bottom most portion of the ends and I'm going to make these circular, okay? Y ahorita lo que voy a hacer es voy a hacer las orillas en forma circular. And again, just be very careful, please, not to cut yourselves. Y con mucho cuidado para que no se corten, vamos a hacer estas orillas Redondas, okay? So we're just going to carefully just make these round. like this, así, and we want the green to be on the bottom, ok, y queremos que el, el papel verde esté hacia abajo, so I'm just going to give it a moment or so for folks to catch up, les voy a dar un segundito para que alcancen, And we want the, the green to be towards the bottom. Queremos asegurarnos que el verde esté hacia abajo. And what we're going to do is we are going to very carefully unfold our paper here. Y queremos desdoblar nuestro papel. Y ahorita vamos a agarrar nuestro papel amarillo. And we're just going to pick up our yellow paper here. And we're going to be very careful about unfolding it. Y con mucho cuidado, vamos a desdoblar nuestro papel amarillo. Okay. Untangle the end, ends if you need to. And now we have our paper here. And we're just going to fold, we're just going to place it back into our accordion here, okay? Y ahorita vamos a poner nuestro papel amarillo otra vez en nuestro acordeón. Oops. You need to make sure that the ends are untangled. Cuidado con las orillas, porque si no, no cabe. Oh, 
Okay. I know that that was hard. Sé que esa, esa parte estuvo difícil. But now we have our yellow in on the top and in the center. And then we have our blue and then we have our green on the bottom. Did everyone catch that? Ahora ya tenemos el amarillo por encima. Después nuestro segundo color. Yo elegí el color azul y después el verde por debajo. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half. Vamos a doblar esto en mitad. Y vamos a agarrar, vamos a agarrar otro limpia pipas. We're going to grab another pipe cleaner. Okay? And then this time, what we would like to do is to have the, the small end be on the side of the paper where the green paper is. Okay? Queremos que la parte pequeña de de nuestro limpia pipas esté en el lado donde está el color papel verde el, pa el papel de color verde okay and we're going to turn it around and we're going to twist y después vamos a agarrar la otra parte le vamos a dar vuelta para asegurar nuestra flor so the long piece of your pipe cleaner should now be on the side on the bottom where the green paper is and then the, the, the top of the pipe cleaner will be where the yellow is, okay? Y ahora limpia pipas, la parte larga, va a ser, um, va a estar en el mismo lado de donde está el papel verde. Y la parte donde no hay limpia pipa está um, donde está el amarillo. Just like this. Así. I'll give it that a second for folks to catch up. But if you have caught up, you can go ahead and start fanning one side. Pueden uh, abrir un lado. And this yellow paper is very fragile. El, el, el papel amarillo es muy delicado. So be very, very careful as you pull this forward. Con mucho cuidado porque como lo cortamos está muy delicado. Y vamos a traer este color amarillo hacia el centro. We're just going to go ahead and bring this yellow color towards the center here. Okay. And instead of doing the blue, y en vez de seguir con el azul, we're not going to do the second sheet of blue at this point. We're actually just going to go over to the other side. Vamos a seguir al otro lado. Y vamos a traer este amarillo. And we're just going to continue to pull this yellow here. Get that hard part out of the way. Vamos a seguir con este lado y el color amarillo para... Terminar con la parte más difícil. Oops. Just like this. Así. Making sure that all of the yellow is towards the center. Asegurándonos que todo lo amarillo sea hacia el centro. Oops. One was a little long. Esta estaba muy larga para mí, so la corté. And now we're going to continue to pull the other sheets of paper. Y ahora sí podemos a con continuar a sacar las otras hojas individuales. And just be very careful. Tengan mucho cuidado. I also love this color combination. Um, who asked? Nancy, thank you so much for asking. Um, yeah, I also like this blue and this yellow. It creates beautiful contrast. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And we're just going to continue. Vamos a continuar. Yo estaba comentando que el, la combinación de colores, el amarillo y el azul, También me gusta mucho porque Nancy había preguntado que cuál era la combinación de colores que me, me gustaba. So we're just going to continue to pull each of these individual sheets. Vamos a continuar trayendo cada hoja individual hacia el centro con mucho cuidado para no romperla. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That wasn't so hard, right? No era muy difícil, ¿verdad? This one's a little challenging because of the center part, but I'm sure you all did an amazing job. Sé que esta es un, un poquito más difícil por la parte del centro, pero estoy seguro que todos hicieron un muy buen trabajo. All right. And when you finish the blue sheets, I like to pull all of the blue sheets away from the green. A mí me gusta retirar todas las hojas azules, un poquito de las hojas verdes. And then just make sure that the yellow is visible. Y me gusta asegurar que el amarillo, que es el centro de la flor, esté visible. And then I carefully pull the green ones, but I don't pull them all the way up. Y ahora empiezo con las verdes, pero estas no las traigo hacia el centro completamente. Nada más hacia la mitad. Que haya espacio aquí. So that there's a little bit of space in between the blue and the green. And then I'll do the other side. Después podemos hacer el otro lado. And then you have a beautiful flower. Y ahora ya tienen una flor muy bonita. With the green acting as the leaf. Um, and then the flower is the, the color of the petals is the second color and then the center where the pollen lives is um, yellow Okay, y ahora ya tienen sus hojas que es la parte verde la parte azul en mi flor son los, los pétalos de la flor y um, el centro de la flor and you can use uh, all sorts of different color combinations pueden utilizar las combinaciones de color que ustedes gusten pueden hacer cienes de flores pueden ponerlos en, en, en sus ofrendas de día de muertos you can uh, put them on your ofrendas uh, for the day of the dead if you celebrate the day of the dead um, and then these are just really beautiful and again I like the pipe cleaners for a lot of different reasons because you can just clip them you can just hang them versus the string um, and when you're working with uh, hundreds of these uh, sometimes the twisting is much easier than having to tie a lot of knots y yo prefiero los limpiapipas porque como nosotros hacemos ofrendas para Día de Muertos y utilizamos sienes de, de estas flores hacemos sienes y, y después las ponemos en las ofrendas se me facilita más uh, colgarlas con el limpia pipas que hacer muchos nudos entonces por eso yo prefiero limpia pipas pero también lo que pueden hacer es what you can also do is you can also make arrangements um, in, in vases and I'm going to just use today and I know that this was not part of the instruction but I'm just going to show you I'm just using a skewer and you can twist this onto a skewer yo estoy nada más utilizando un palito que se utiliza para al hacer barbacoa, hacer barbecues en, en la yarda, just like this, and you can just twist it on here, and then you can hang it. Um, the other thing that you can do is take a green sheet of construction paper, and you can wrap, oops, With a little bit of hot glue along the edge, you can just wrap your stem and make a green stem. So, con un poquito de 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 resistol de pistola caliente, <laughs> el resistol caliente que se utiliza en pistolita, uh, también pueden agarrar un pedazo de papel verde y pueden cubrir su uh, el palo de la flor en color verde para tener un palo verde y pueden ponerlo en un florero. Um, so this is another really great um, way that you can make decor. You can make them in all sorts of sizes, all different types of, of sizes. Um, and now you know how to make three different tissue paper flowers. Y ahora ya saben cómo hacer tres diferentes flores de papel utilizando el papel de china o el papel de seda. Um, and you also know the history y también saben un poquito sobre la historia de estas flores.
Does anyone have any questions? Tienen preguntas para mí? Pueden hacérmelas en los comentarios. Um, I invite you to continue to make as many as you would like so that you get plenty of practice so that come November for Day of the Dead, um, you can participate in flower making workshops. You can teach them. You can show share them with your loved ones. Les invito que continúen a, a practicar. Ya, ahorita que ya tienen los materiales um, listos, uh, para cuando llegue noviembre y Día de Muertos puedan uh, participar y ayudar o hacer una ofrenda a ustedes mismos. Si tienen preguntas para mí, por favor, háganlas. Um, este video va a estar disponible en nuestra página de web, elcomalitocollective.com. This video is recorded and it will be available on our website, elcomalitocollective.com. All of our videos and programming is free, but if you're able to leave a donation, uh, we would humbly accept. That allows us to keep the collective going and offer the workshops um, going forward. Um, los videos están disponibles en nuestra página de web, elcomalitocollective.com. Uh, son gratis las clases, pero si nos gustan dejar una donación, eso nos ayuda a continuar las clases um, y ofrecer más clases gratis. So, thank you all so much for being here. Um, muchas gracias por acompañarnos el día de hoy. Espero que se divirtieron. I hope you all had fun. And until next time, see you later. Adiós.